Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update. Got a question, suggestion, or a topic you'd like, like to see covered, drop it in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to set up and integrate PHP IPAM using Docker with a focus on customizing the setup and predefining the links. We'll be working with Rocky Linux 9.5, walking through the Docker and Docker Compose installation, and setting up a custom Docker file within a subdirectory of your Docker Compose YAML file. So, to begin with, we need to set up Rocky Linux with Docker and Docker Compose. You want to do this from the CLI of your server. And to do that, let's first make sure that we have a, our machine has updated. Again. Next, we want to get the config manager and add the repo to our system. Next, we want to install Docker. And once that's done, we want to uh, start and enable Docker so that Docker starts every time the computer is started. And we'll give that a few seconds. And looks like we're almost there. And we're done. So now let's enable or start and enable so that our Docker will um, start up when we reboot. And let's make sure we installed a current version of Docker, which should be greater than 2.8. Yeah, so there we go. Next, we need to install curl. Um, should be already there by default. Next, we want to download Docker Compose. And to do that, we want to go to GitHub, get the latest release, and install. Once that's done, we need to make Docker Compose executable, which we can do by ch modding it with an X. And then we want to also make sure that we're running a current version, which is greater than 2.0, which we are. We're running 2.3.5. Now we want to make a project folder. So in this case, I'm going to put this in my root. I don't, this is just a test or uh, a, uh, I'm showing you how to build this. You might want to create a dedicated folder for production. And, um, but for right now, I'm just doing this in my root folder. Uh, we want to create the folder and then work within this folder. Next, we want to create a Docker Compose file. So this is what is the heart of our Docker uh, setup. So in here, and I will be putting this up on the Git chat on the Git site so that you can see it a little bit easier. Let's see here. So basically, this is the PHP IPAM. You know, it's, we're setting it to Los Angeles. This could be America, New York. Uh, we're setting the database. We're right here. You would set your password, and you would change this to a uh, password. Now, I'm just keeping it like this. Uh, same thing down here. For the database, you would set a root password as well as the password for PHP IPAM and so on and so forth. Um, down here, again, right, you want to match this password to the above one, right? So follow this instructions and you should be fine. Now I'm going to 
exit and save that. Next, I'm going to create a custom folder. Now, the custom folder is to enable the prettified links uh, inside of PHP IPAM. And then I'm going to work inside of that folder. So now I'm going to create a Docker file in here. And in here, I need to copy and paste the following. And the reason I'm using the Docker file is to do this to Apache, to do the rewrite, right? And if it's not found, you know, fix it. And also allow the these features. So if you go and you look for uh, prettified links, this is the simplest Docker way to do this so that it works every time. Now I exited and saved. So now I need to go back to my root folder, right? And I'm gonna do an LS, right? So I have this custom folder. I have the, um, I have the YAML and then I have the Docker file inside of there. So. I, sh I should be pretty good to go here, I think. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a Docker Compose, and I'm going to do an up and a build. So this will build and start the containers needed for PHP IPAM. And then it starts all three containers. So this will take another few seconds. And it looks like we were successful. Yes, we are. So now I just want to see that all three are up and running. And they are. So MariaDB, the PHPI web, and then the cron job is running. So now I need to actually open um, a browser and I believe this server, let's make sure my IP address is 186. So this is where, right, our, this is the server I just created. I'm going to go here, I'm going to go to automatic database and instructions. Now, this is, so I've been doing this several times. The default settings don't work very well. And it says that you could use um, the, the PHP IPAM user, it, but currently, for some reason, it's not working. So I just use root and I deselect create new database because there's already one in there. And, oh, did I grab the one? Yeah, I did, I grabbed the wrong password, sorry. And there we go. So now that the database has been successfully brought up, I need to create the admin password. And I hope I type the same password. Then if I go here, I should be able to log in. There we go. And we'll close that. And over here, we want to go to PHP IPAM. We want to go to Prefy Links. So that's yes. And hit save. And if we go over here, we should see everything's good. And it looks pretty good to me. So this is pretty good. So the only piece left right now is to update this. And the way to update that is at the moment. Okay. And we've done that. So then 
to update that, we want to go back to our YAML file. So let's, right, so we want to go And what we want to do is actually update this. And what we want to update it with is And what this does is this actually affects the uh, config file for the uh, Docker. And what we will do, we will save that to the buffer. So that's saved. And what we'll do now is we'll do a Docker compose. Oops. It's already down and now let's do up and we restarted and let's check our settings so let's do a refresh and that's gone and there you go we have it all set up, everything looks good. We shouldn't have any issues. And there it is, PHP IPAM on Docker. Um, well, that wraps up today's walkthrough. Thanks so much for watching. If this helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe so you'll be the first to know when new content drops. If you ran into any issues or have any questions about anything we've covered, feel free to leave a comment. I do my best to respond to everyone. And if there's a topic you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know. Until next time, take care and happy building of PHP IPAM. Have a great day. Thanks.